Good morning. Welcome to Tara at Home. And uh, we are in one of my favorite little places, Joelle's on Brand Street. And I'm here with Joelle herself. And uh, thanks for letting us come into your space this morning. Thank you for coming in. Oh, it's so fun to walk in here and already see color. And it's, mm -hmm. th it's that time of year where we crave it more than any time of year, I think. We just want to see that switch over that we know spring is around the corner, right? So we, are, uh, we have a few models today. And we're going to show some of the kind of the, the color trends and some of the things that we're seeing for, for spring and for summer. So why don't we, we bring do. on our first model? We have some lovely models. Some of our beautiful mm -hmm. customers have offered to model for us That's this awesome. morning. So you can see real people wearing real clothes that suit their lifestyle, mm -hmm. but adding a little bit of the trends that everybody everybody always wants to know at the beginning of the season. What, What's what happening? should I buy? <laughs> That's What's right. coming in? What's new? So uh, at Joelle's, we always try to you know have a nice balance of classic pieces mm -hmm. uh, that last you a long time. Yes. But we always want to add something new because we love to shop and we love fashion and we yes, love... Yes, shopping is so, so fun. <laughs> to be a little trendy. So I love this dress. I know, so do I. Victoria so is such a great model for this whole outfit. Um, Victoria ha is a blogger for mm -hmm. us. She does some guest blogging for me. She has her own blog called Girl It Up. So thus, this is cute and girly. Growing it up with a bit of my favorite new trend. Mm -hmm. um, started a little bit last summer. We saw a little bit of it, and it's neon. Yep. So scared people a little bit last year because right. it was really pink and bright and right. kind of 80s looking but you can see how it's sort of grown up a mm -hmm. little bit and delicate details of the lime and the new color of the mm -hmm. coral so sort of highlighter colors I love, it is and i absolutely. discovered the other day that i'm i like highlighters a lot so i think I do that too. is why i do too so thus the i dress. am attached to this trend i love it very cute well thank you all right, let's bring in our next model. Again, carrying that color over again mm -hmm. in a tank. Nice to see tank tops and bare arms. <laughs> exactly. Versatile uh, mm -hmm. tank that we have tucked into an important new trend, the trouser pant. A mm -hmm. little bit cropped, a um, little bit lower, slouchier. We're going to see this coming in in denim as well, mm, this look. I like that. And you're noticing that we're tucking here. We're not yes. having it out. And that's another thing. That mm -hmm. hasn't been like that for a while, it has it? People are afraid to tuck. Yeah. <laughs> so with this particular silhouette of pant we've tucked. Mm -hmm. If she had on a skinny jean or later on a short, we would still Keep pull that out and leave it out. So versatile piece, the pop of the really brilliant neon coral. Mm -hmm. And uh, these girls all love a little sparkle. So we've thrown yeah. on a Jen Fenton necklace nice. similar to mine. So I put my neon in my yeah. necklace yep. I see that. and That's we've nice. added a little sparkle to the neon. So I this like is that. a great outfit it is. to mix and match yep. uh, versatile pieces that you can sort of have Dress up, dress, mm -hmm. dress down. That's good. That's nice. I like that. Thank you. All right, and then of course, it's all, we always have our black on hand, don't we? Mm -hmm. and, we and it's still it'll stay with every uh, every season, won't it? It will. <laughs> I, I'm, I have to say, I'm no, I'm partial. Um, in this case, we're looking at a really important trend that mm -hmm. has transpired and transpired from year after year. We we've sort of seen it come again and again kind of like the skinny jeans so yeah. i feel strongly that the maxi dress is here to stay mm -hmm. so if you felt hesitant to buy one in the past few seasons you might you be talked sure, into one now <laughs> um i think you should buy two mm -hmm. so, so i think you should definitely get a solid and in this case the black this is just a cotton jersey dress mm -hmm. um, that can also convert into a long skirt but look at how dressed right. up it looks with the beautiful glam jewels. I know you're a fan of I Monica am. and yeah, exactly. glam jewels. And that's the thing. That it should, it really. We mm -hmm. were actually talking about um, in a past episode about how when you do have a strapless dress like that, to have that uh, necklace around there, it just fills it. Yeah, the top a real part statement. Color. And then you mm -hmm. could do colored jewels with that. Mm -hmm. You could do more silver. You could do long. Um, we perfect. have nice little thong sandals on with it here, yeah. but you could. It's a nice look. You know, wear it to the beach. Mm -hmm. You could wear it to a gala. You could dress it up. It's just a wonderful piece. Yeah, it's great. And it's great something for a, a getaway destination wedding too, exactly. right? Exactly. can get away with the Easy shoes. to pack. Very good. Well, thank you. And again, another maxi dress, right? So, so I, this the, is more the, the second one that I think you should have as a printed. Mm -hmm. Something colorful and printed. Again, versatile. Not as versatile as the first one. A bit more memorable. Yes. So yes. you'll tend to wear this, you know, to a couple functions and then feel like, okay, people are going to remember this. <laughs> Whereas with Saskia's black dress, yeah, you won't you remember it for a while. as much. But mm -hmm. I say wear your clothes. When you get them, don't just save them for things. Mm -hmm. You know, get yep. this dress, wear it to an event that you want to go to. 
we have it on with a little bit of a, a braided oh, belt from cute. Brave, yeah. and we've got the Tiny Devotions uh, bracelets nice. on with it, and some nice sandals. But you can see how this could yeah. work for really casual, you picking can. up the kids at school, right? Yeah, you absolutely. You can just throw on your little flip-flops with that mm -hmm. eventually. And what I'm going to do with my maxis that are printed is once I've sort of worn them several times and for the season, mm -hmm. I'll probably cut cut them off. Love that and idea. And then I'll have that little dress to throw in so my smart. bag when I'm traveling. Because that's right. When People worry about that and they don't think outside of the box, but that's just so perfect. Just exactly. cut it off and catch up with the next trend that's coming through. That's great. Well, thank you. Them. Yes. That's a great idea. Okay. All right. So we've got our two maxi dresses and uh, one uh, neutral and one p pattern. Now we're moving on, of course, denim. Well, we're known for denim mm -hmm. at Joelle's. We definitely know how to fit you with some wonderful premium denim lines that we carry. Um, so we want to just tell you a little bit about what's going on. We know that you all have the, your classic denim styles that you like, whether mm -hmm. it's a boot cut or a straight leg even a flare if that suits your body. Right. But we want to show you just kind of what the, the must-have trends okay. are for denim. The boyfriend jean is now sort of called the girlfriend jean. <laughs> um, so it's dressed up a little bit. Yes. Obviously this is a jean that could be dressed completely down with a t-shirt and flip-flops, mm -hmm. picking up the kids at school, but then Victoria can get into business mode, mm -hmm. um, adding some heels, tucking again. So this yes. is another that area. That it up too pants that were in okay. that we're seeing some tucking okay so it does it dresses it up yep. cleans it up adding a belt we haven't worn belts for a while um, the blazer is just a good mm -hmm. basic just that you'd have forever mm -hmm. and you could really again do a lot with that good. outfit okay that's nice I like that very good and again with the girlfriend jeans, as you say it's just a little neater the boyfriend neater. jeans a lot of them are more tattered right yeah more worn. and you will see a lot of tatter mm -hmm. we haven't got it in at this point mm -hmm. yet but I later like in the too, summer <laughs> you're going to see the rips again yeah okay cool so, I yeah. like that all right, so yeah. this is, uh, this is a nice this look. this is Jen. So Jen has a mala, just mm -hmm. like yeah. you do, from oh. Tiny Devotions. <laughs> yep. So for all the good energy. Mm -hmm. um, and Jen's wearing, again, it looks just like a normal skinny jean, but if you look carefully, it's ankle length. Yes. So when you're wearing a heel, this is the perfect length to go for. Not bunching them up bunching like up. you used to see. This okay. is just the perfect length for the heel. Okay. This jean, we've dressed it up again a little bit, versatile. Mm -hmm but she could roll that jean up and make it into a yeah, crop. I love that. So you kind of get two in one. And I think that jean is really soft, isn't it? It looks soft. Yeah. It does. Well, thank yeah. you. OK, very good. And finally, our last model. This is interesting. Yeah. Look at all this pattern down so the side. We, we have pattern. Mm -hmm. We've been seeing this evolution of pattern in denim. Mm -hmm. um, this one is placed on the side. So mm -hmm. seven for all mankind. They're always trying, you know, all the denim brands are always trying to come up with something yes. new that's different from everybody else's. So we thought this was really fun. And, nice you color. know, it, it is a statement. Mm -hmm. So again, you, you can know, only pick and choose when you wear them. It's not going to be the only thing right. that you're going to want to buy. But if you have a little extra, then I think this is a really fun way to go. All right. Well, um, we've already out of time. Can you believe oh it? No, I know. Look are. at that. We could shop here all day and we shall. We'll be back with more. But uh, again, thank you so much to well and to all of our lovely models. Be back with more Tara at home. Thanks. Live color fully at Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, look for trees and shrubs with the medallion plant tag. Medallion plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. AM 900 CHML is giving you more news when you want it most. Non-stop news weekday mornings 5 till 9, weekday afternoons 3 to 6, with weather and traffic on the 9s. Hear about it first from AM 900 CHML, Hamilton's news talk leader.
Good morning. Uh, welcome back to Terra at Home. We are in downtown Oakville today at Crackpot Studios, mm -hmm. and uh, we're here with mm -hmm. Kathleen, and you're an instructor here in the back area of the studio. And I can't think of a better thing to do in the winter months, and it's probably a busy mm -hmm. time for you guys, I'm sure. It always is busy. Yeah, 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 this is a great studio. So very large space, and uh, we're familiar with, you know, there are pottery studios where you get to paint, and mm -hmm. I mean, there are lots of options there. And we're going to come back sometime and be at the front and work through that. Mm -hmm. But this is another area that we're not as exposed to, working on the wheel. And this is your expertise, right? Yes. This is where, so you teach classes. Teach classes here, mm -hmm. uh, Sheridan College. Oh, wow. Yep. Cool. Yep. Everybody wants to try it. I know, because it's one of those things that we've we've all seen, and of course we all go back to the movie Ghost, but we're not going to go there today. Don't but go there. Um, but we know, and we're familiar with it, but we just, a lot of people never get to try it. Mm -hmm. I've heard that it can be difficult, and you can lose all control, <laughs> which is why you have an instructor. The major um, thing you hear always is that it's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, you actually teach children too, which is neat because I, I was asking you prior to beginning, oh, do you teach, and you said mostly children, mm -hmm. which is great at that people, are, parents are giving their children an opportunity to learn something like this. Absolutely. And children's relationship with clay is great because, you know, they can use their intuition and that's something right. we don't see all the time anymore. And yes. clay's got a great relationship with kids and just pushing it and moving it. Uh -huh. and it's kind of fun, right? Mm -hmm. And it's good because it gets our kids away from um, video games and, uh, you know, playing on iPads and all those kind of things, mm -hmm. right? And it gets them back to sort of reality and, and being artsy and creative again. Yes. Right? Problem solving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the average class, when you're beginning, if you're a beginner, what would you uh, kind of take me through the stages of what you would do? Uh, if it's a pottery wheel class, one of the best first things we do is just get kids a lump of clay, sit them on the wheel, and let them have at it. You know, really? I'll, I'll do a little demonstration just to kind of let them know what's in store for so them. So you don't have clay on the ceiling. Well, we do. <laughs> it's everywhere. Really? Yeah. Um, but that's the best to learn how much pressure is too much, to see what happens when you jab a hole in something. But to just be able to feel that material, play with the speeds of the wheel spinning, mm -hmm. just get all of that out of the way. Because it's similar to, I think, riding a bike or playing a musical instrument. That first time, okay, okay. you're trying to think of eight million things. Right. So okay. to get everybody familiar, get the body relationship ready and how to stabilize yourself and then start to build up some skills. Okay. All right. So why don't, uh, why don't you show, show me a little show? bit? Yeah, show me because right. this is kind of fun, right? So what, uh, what kind of clay is this? This is from Pottery Supply House right in Oakville, okay. white earthenware. And it's gray right now, but after it goes through the firing process and actually chemically changes to a different material, it will be white. Ah, similar so it comes to out this white. material. Okay. All right, very good. So that uh, yeah, see a lot of people don't even know. This Low is the temperature earth. Same stuff as flower pots are made out of. Okay. Same stuff as all the red clay, but the red is taken out so it doesn't stain your clothes. Ah, love it. Okay. So I'm sticking this down to the wheel uh -huh. as much as possible, which isn't a lot. Yeah, because you don't want to flying it off. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's all about keeping it very slippery. Wow. So I'm going to center. It's, it looks in the middle, but it's not completely in the middle. So this act of squeezing the clay I can gets just it exactly imagine what in happens middle. in classes with kids on this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And as long as the expectations are realistic, which is what can happen when you just get a chance to have fun and mess around right. when you're familiar, then it's, it's a slow process, but it's definitely a fun process. And I think what's great too is again, it's, it, it's hands-on and getting your hands, kids love, are so tactile, right? And mm -hmm. they would just love to get their hands mucky yeah. and, and they have the permission to do so. And that's okay too. And kids often have a lot of confidence mm -hmm. in their hands and what they yep. can yeah, it's do. Yeah, funny, it's funny how adults, a lot of times, we we already, we kind of have that sort of that, we look ahead and we already think disaster. Yeah. And uh, somehow that creates disaster. So they just go for it, don't they, kids? Yeah. Adult strength is often in their design mm -hmm. ideas, what they want it to turn into eventually. Uh, and right. that makes very interesting right. work. See, I know that you're making this look a lot easier than it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know that this can be totally crazy and wobbly. What happens, what are some of the sort of the downfalls, the things that you shouldn't do when you're trying to create what you're, what you're doing right now? You shouldn't lean on the clay. Everything okay. should be you in space stable. Okay. And the material has to move through you. Oh. So one of the beginning things that you have to get over is leaning on this clay to stabilize yourself. Mm -hmm. 
And I don't know how that sounds to a beginner, because yeah. for me it's such second it nature. It just makes sense. But right. that seems to right. be a big message to try get across. And you seem to be um, adding water a lot to it, constantly trying to Always keep it wet, Always keeping right? it slippery, okay. yes. Okay. Now what happens is all of a sudden you do lose control and it all falls in. Do you have to <laughs> go right back to stage zero again and like from a lump and... Yes, you want, before oh. you start, to, you've seen how much this is spread out, thinned out. Yes. If it's not completely compacted and the molecules as tight as possible, it'll break down a lot sooner than you want it to. So if anything goes wrong, then you get to smush it all up. I, I generally just like, ah! yeah. <laughs> Although after a couple of times of the frustration level, you completely accept it. It's the nature of the material. Right. It's part of the fun. And it's a good just get away from life sometimes to come and do this kind of thing, right? Yeah, and because it is a skill, mm -hmm. you know, at least 10,000 years old, 35 for the sculptural clay work. Wow. Um, the more you do it, the better you get. You can't get to places until you've collapsed a few pots and you know found out what right. your boundaries are well, anything in life right you have yeah. to you kind of have to learn all the stages in between and that's what makes you better at the end I think, like right? it being interviewed on camera <laughs> <laughs> i think you're doing fabulous Kathleen, you well, know thank you leslie uh, and you're doing this at the same time so <laughs> which sometimes it actually is easier for people when they're doing what they they love yes. right? so you're able to focus on this now um when we're talking about a, a wheel that's spinning like this and you're creating pots mm -hmm. how I mean, how much variety can you get from this by, by working on a wheel? That's a great question. It's basically you deal with symmetry because it is machine, mm -hmm. but contemporary ceramics since the 80s, the work that you see in galleries starts with this, but then it's cut, altered. Oh, you know, the, right. the human design element, the artistic expression is not only from the material, it's what you do with a piece. I see, so you can do get this far and then remove it and add, Absolutely, go yeah. to it from there. And that's the way I like to work. You know, mm -hmm. I give myself a table full of clay Lego pieces, basically, and mm -hmm. start to attach them and oh, I love see that. where it goes. Now, how quickly do you have to work after you've removed you, up here? Dry before? cleaning plastic is the best thing in the world for us. If you coat something with that thin sheet of plastic, yeah. it can last forever until you're ready to work with oh. it. Okay, well that's good then. Yeah. And then away it goes, if once you're done with it, away it goes into the kiln and, uh, yeah, and then you can come back and, and you can paint it. Start the glazing process. Right, yep. and that is fun. Which is the forte of the front studio. They've got mm -hmm. tons of colors. We're, we're more about the form, less about the color. Mm -hmm. Of course. We're trying to roll this lip in. This is awesome. Why would I try to do something like that with everybody, everybody it's watching? It's looking awesome to me. Well, Kathleen, <laughs> it was so much fun spending some time with you. Well, thank you. I can sit here for another 20 minutes and watch you complete this, but uh, <laughs> we will come back some time. We will go to the front part of the studio and, and learn a little bit more about the glazing process. And um, But this is fabulous. So again, you can do classes here at Crackpot <laughs> Studio, downtown Oakville. Thank, thank you, you, Kathleen. Thanks, All right, Leslie. we'll be back with more Terra at home. Come and explore the new Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, look for trees and shrubs with the medallion plant tag. Medallion plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. Good morning, welcome back to Tara at Home, and uh, we have discovered the uh, Crepe Kitchen in downtown Oakville, and I'm here with Anna, and we'll meet Eduardo, your other half, uh, a little bit later on. <laughs> but this is your place, your lovely little Crepe Kitchen, and uh, very popular, I understand, on the weekends, uh, as well throughout the week. But um, the crepe, let's talk a little bit about that. And I think a lot of people think, oh, I'd love to make one of those at home, but I would just destroy it because it is so, so thin. It what has is... to be thin. Yeah. Otherwise, you make a pancake. Exactly. <laughs> it basically is a pancake, right? So how do you create them? I mean, you have the special, a special cooking area. But how do you make it so that it's not all over the place? And... I'll show you okay. how. All right. Show me how we do this. this. <laughs> ah, right. And you're just making it you thin and thin and thin and spreading thinly. it out. Yes. 
and okay. then you flip it and that's it. And easy, okay. So let's talk a little bit about crepes. I think the natural association with crepes is sweet. They think uh, chocolate and maybe some banana or something like that yes. inside, but, or strawberries, but it goes right across the board. Yeah, you can Indeed. have them savory or mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. You can have them at breakfast, you can have them at lunch, depending on what you put inside the crepe. Right. It will be dessert or it will be a meal. Okay, so let's talk about your most popular sweet crepe, what would you say? Well, um, little kids like fruits mm -hmm. and the chocolate hazelnut spread. Yes. Um, we use dulce leche, which is a kind of a milk caramel, very popular in South Ooh, America. We're yes. from Peru. Ah. So um, that's a very popular one. Uh, we make our own custard, so we have one with custard and strawberries. It's really good. That'd be nice. Um, you can put whatever you like, uh -huh. ice cream, whipped cream, fruits, so it let your imagination tell you what you like. And I could see a lot of people just coming by for for dessert or just a sweet uh, kind of an afternoon break, right, with a cup of yeah. tea or coffee yeah. and sitting down and having that uh, a sweet type of crepe, right? Yeah. That's a nice thing to do. Or we have the breakfast ones too. Uh huh. So, so that's the thing. Yeah. So you've got breakfast, you've got savory. So give me some examples of some of the savory ones you have. Uh, for breakfast, we have um, the good morning, mm -hmm. which is a very popular one. It has two eggs, so we crack the eggs on top of the crepe and we cook them on top oh, of the crepe. that's how you do it with the eggs? Yes. Ah, I was wondering. Uh, it has cheddar cheese, bacon, and then we top it with maple syrup. It's really oh good. Oh my goodness. Sometimes people think, oh, what's wrong with this? Like maple syrup on top of a crepe? But when they have it, they really like it. <laughs> that's the thing. Sometimes people don't realize, but when you eat a breakfast on its own and the maple syrup is creeping yeah. over from your pancake anyway, you realize that's actually really good. Yeah. So why not put it in yeah. inside? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're, we're actually going to make one today, yes. right? We're going to make the Mediterranean. It's okay. a very popular one. Okay. It's, it's only vegetables. Hmm. Uh, if you wish, you can add chicken or a meat there. Sure. Um, that's a very good option for people that don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. It has uh, baby spinach, ro red roasted peppers, uh, a touch of uh, sweet onion, tomato, and goat cheese. Wonderful. Okay. All right, so the first is the technique of making the actual crepe, which yes. is the, the hard part, but you're about to make it very easy because I've seen you make one and... <laughs> Well, <laughs> no pressure, Anna. No Don't pressure. Don't mess it up, Anna. <laughs> well, the first thing is that you, if you're going to make them at home, even in a, if it's a pan or a, a pan. griddle, yeah. get the right temperature. Okay. It has to, and always the first one, it will go on the garbage. Okay, and I've heard that <laughs> before, stick. and I heard you say that as well. So yes. don't worry about the first one, everybody. No, no keep trying. Your, your beagle or a home, so your dog will love it. I'll pour a ladle <laughs> on, the, on the center, and then I'll, I'll use my little tool here. Spread it evenly. And it's okay if a little bit goes off the edge, yeah. right? That's all right. But you have to make sure that you cut that part because when you try to flip it, it will stick and it will break. Ah, so okay. I will clean the edges like this. And then whenever you can lift them, it's ready to be flipped. So basically it's the same ingredients as what, as you say, would be in a pancake. Yes. Essentially, right? But it's just thin, thin, yes. thinned right out. Yeah. You're not leaving this one lumpy. <laughs> okay, so we'll use the spinach. Spinach is great because it looks like a lot in there but it all yeah, shrinks it will steam. down. Mm -hmm. And the onions which are previously cooked. Okay, I was just going to ask you that. So some of the things like that obviously you're going to want to have them cooked because no. the onions are yeah. too... Yeah. Some people don't like raw onions. No. A touch of olive oil, ah. salt, pepper. Those are lovely. And you would actually um, serve this with a side salad which we'll yes. show a little bit later on which yes. is a really nice accompaniment. Tomatoes. Some tomato. Now with the griddle being so hot, I, I would think I'd be concerned that it's, you know, I guess you got to have to kind of get the ingredients on pretty quickly, don't you, to time yes. it out? Yeah, because you don't want it to be that crispy. Some people mm -hmm. like it crispy, Okay. but um, if you need to fold it, if it's crispy, it's, it's not going to be fold. a problem. It's going to break, right? Yes. And then we'll top it with our Mornay sauce. So what is that? I saw that on the uh, It's a uh, bechamel. List. Oh, and you yes. put uh, Parmesan cheese inside Ooh, and it's just a drizzle and then I'm going to fold it like a rectangle. Okay. Oh, look at that. And now Lovely. it's ready. We'll give it a couple of minutes to steam mm -hmm. the um, baby spinach and all the flavors to blend. Mm -hmm. And then and away it goes. Beautiful. There we go. Now, um, one thing that I, I've noticed on the board is that you do have uh, the Spanish one, which is one of the option that we were going to make. Yes. And uh, and again, so that has chorizo. It has chorizo sausage, red roasted peppers, a touch of onions, mm. cheddar cheese. Wow. 
it's very okay. nice. People think that um, they, they always come and ask if the chorizo is spicy. It's right. not spicy, it's very flavorful. Flavorful, that's yes. right. That's what I find with chorizo, it gives a lot of intense flavor. So again, by adding a meat, and I'm sure some people, just so people come in and say, this is how I want, and they and they ask for specific ingredients. Yes. And, well, the, and we will you that do that? Lot. Is that okay? Uh, sometimes if we have the ingredients, but we don't recommend it. Yeah. Uh, we had uh, spent a lot of time trying to figure out which ingredients, which cheese goes much. with what. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people want to do their own and I don't know how it, that's well, going to taste. I, you're, well, that's <laughs> funny cause, because you are a, a, a cook and I, yes. you, know, you know, okay, I don't think I like that idea, but I guess, you know, yeah. and it's well, easier for you because literally you like have a board like this long yeah. that is just full of Yeah, there's great a lot of choices, chicken, beef, mm -hmm. just vegetables, the chorizo, yeah. ham. So I think we have covered You've covered it. It, yes. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this continue to cook. We're almost done. We'll come back after the break and we're going to plate it with the salad and how you would get it, have it served here at the Crepe Kitchen in Oakville. We'll be right back. Live color fully at Terra, where color lives. You've sat under them and built forts in them. You've swung from them and fell out of them. You've even fallen in love under them. Trees have always held a special place in our hearts and memories. A natural beauty, trees will grow with you and your family and bring color and nature into your world. For your assurance of quality, Look for trees and shrubs with the Medallion Plant Tag. Medallion Plants, locally grown, the pride of Niagara. Welcome back to Terra at Home. We are at the Crepe Kitchen in Oakville and uh, we were with Anna and we were making one of your savory crepes. What was the name of this one again? Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. So again, tomatoes and cheese and uh, lots of good uh, vegetables and spinach all folded up into this little mm -hmm. pocket. Yes. And it's all ready to go. Yes, so you again say that once it's done, just a couple of minutes there yeah. and uh, serving with a nice side salad again just breaks it up nicely and tell me about your dressing. You, this oh, is your homemade a, dressing. Yes, it's a sweet onion vinaigrette. It's our own recipe mm -hmm. and it complements very well the salad that comes with the savory crepes. Now you were saying that people were loving your dressing so much that they started yeah, asking about used it. To, we, when we first opened we used to make it for us mm -hmm. only and people were asking where they can buy it. So. <laughs> So now you bottle it and people yeah, can buy it. Yeah, we bottle it and we'll sell it here. Oh, I love that idea. That's a really great idea. Okay, so again, uh, you were open during the week. We're open six days a week. Okay. We're closed on Mondays, but we open Tuesday to Sunday. Okay. Um, every day at nine o'clock. <gasps> that early in the morning? Yes, oh because we serve breakfast, Because right? serve breakfast. <laughs> so even during the week you serve breakfast? Yes. Oh, yes. isn't that nice? Weekdays so breakfast, and lunch, weekends. and then how late are you open in the day? Uh, Tuesday to, fr to Thursday. Uh, we're open until 5, mm -hmm. Fridays and Saturdays until 6, and Sundays until 4. Wonderful. So this is a place to come with the whole family. Everybody will find their treat. And we should bring yeah. Eduardo in too. <laughs> he has coffee to uh, make the yeah. final product. And a French pressed coffee, which is yes. beautiful. We nice make addition. it with uh, Peruvian organic beans. Aww. Here's of course, Eduardo, you guys are my Peruvian. husband. I will grind it on the spot for each order. It's Thank you, yeah. Eduardo. In and two thank minutes you, to you Anna. press it down and ready to go. We're good. I love it. This is great. So join us. It's just on Dunn Street, just uh, again, just downtown, Oakville. So downtown Oakville, just south of Lakeshore. Come by and visit and, uh, and, and meet the family. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you sure <laughs> meet the whole family on the weekend. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, have yourself a good weekend. Maybe you can come here tomorrow. That's it for now. Thank you.